Figuring out figurative language in literature. Hello, language explorers. Today, we are diving deep into the world of figurative language in literature. Figurative language can truly enrich your reading experience, enabling you to appreciate the depth and complexity of literary texts. So, let's discover how we can recognize and understand this expressive form of language together. Figurative language is a way of expressing things that go beyond the literal meaning. It includes elements such as metaphors, similes, personification, hyperbole, and idioms. These are used to create more vivid, imaginative descriptions, or to make complex ideas easier to understand. Recognizing these in literature is a key step in enhancing your comprehension skills. Let's delve into the various types of figurative language, starting with metaphors and similes. Metaphors directly compare two different things. Saying one thing is another, like, life is a journey. Similes make similar comparisons but use, like, or, as, for instance, busy as a bee. Personification gives human qualities to non-human things or ideas, such as, the wind whispered through the trees. Hyperbole is extreme exaggeration used for emphasis, like, I could sleep for a year. Finally, idioms are phrases that have a meaning different from the literal meaning of the individual words. An example is, break a leg, which means good luck, not to literally break your leg. The key to recognizing figurative language is to be aware of unusual or non-literal comparisons. If something seems strange taken literally, it's likely figurative. Also, be alert to vivid, imaginative descriptions that appeal to the senses. For example, in the sentence, her eyes were stars, sparkling in the night, the eyes are not literally stars, but they're compared to stars to emphasize their sparkle, making it a metaphor. Now, let's practice. Try identifying the figurative language in these sentences. 1. Time flies when you're having fun. 2. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. 3. The sunflowers nodded their golden heads. Write your answers in the comments below, and we'll review them in our next video. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you now have a better grasp of how to recognize figurative language in literature. It's an important tool in an author's arsenal to create vivid, engaging descriptions and express complex ideas. Remember, the key is to be open to non-literal interpretations and enjoy the imaginative journey literature takes you on. Until next time, happy reading!